SDN, as I alluded to earlier, has a centralized control plane. Now, what are the pros and cons of distributed control plane versus a centralized control plane? Well, I'm glad you asked because that's exactly what I'm gonna show you here side by side. So distributed control plane, that's a legacy approach. It's a hop by hop approach. Centralized control plane is a more modern approach. It's a controller based approach. Distributed control plane, there's one instance of control plane per network endpoint. Whereas in a centralized model, control plane is centralized on the controller. Now distributed control plane has a big benefit when it comes to network resiliency. It's resilient to failure. Whereas the centralized control plane could potentially become a single point of failure unless we have redundant controllers configured in our network. And another big issue could be the synchronization of the state of our network or the database of our network. So if, let's say if we have two controllers and if controller one knows about all the network endpoints in our network and controller two only knows about half of those devices, we have a database sync issue. And it's gonna cause issues when it comes to maintaining and managing the state of our network at any given point in time. Distributed control plan, however, has some convergence challenges though. So for example, if we have 10 routers in our environment, nine may come up okay, but one older router may have issues converging because of maybe some iOS bugs or some challenges uh, with the hardware itself. When it comes to centralized control plane, the convergence is much better because now the control plane is located on the controller. Now distributed control plane works fine in small environments. Typically centralized control plane works better in large environments. Now, distributed control plane is difficult to horizontally scale because as you need more resources for the control plane, as you add more devices, your control plane gets bigger and larger, you're gonna need more memory, more CPU. At some point, you're gonna run out of those resources on that device, which means you're gonna have to add an entirely new device. Whereas the centralized control plane is designed with horizontal scalability in mind. And all you do is you simply deploy a new instance when you need more capacity. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.